All right, what's up, guys? We are here at CCSB Reptile Rescue. I'm here with my friend Chad, and I actually came today to pick up a Sulcata tortoise. We're gonna see him in a few minutes, and I'm really excited to include him and incorporate him into my ministry. But Chad's gonna tell us a little bit about what it is that he does and, and how this huge organization kind of came to be. My name's Chad Griffin, like you said, and I'm, I own CCSB Reptile Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. Right now, we stand at the country's largest rescue and full medical center for reptiles. That's where all of our focus has been on, has been on the proper education, but also being able to give these animals the proper life and second start like they need it. Now, we deal with a lot of stuff, including venomous and crocodilian, meaning the alligators, crocodiles, caimans, we have them all. Uh, right here behind us, you see a couple of cobras. Uh, let's see, there's cobras quite a few places. We have gaboon vipers, as you hear in the background, you hear a rattlesnake going right now. Uh, we do a lot of training with these guys and train a lot of people with them. So tell us about what's this guy? Like what's, uh, what's the story on this iguana that we have? This here's Shrek, and he's a good boy. Most iguanas are not necessarily that easy to deal with. Now this guy right here, as you can see from the hump, he had MBD, what's called metabolic bone disease. It's a, it's a bone disease when they don't get proper calcium uh, or proper sunlight to help their bones grow efficiently, properly, and harden the way that they're supposed to. It's also known as brittle bone disease. And so what happened was his bones were, were deformed uh, or grew in a deformed way. And uh, it was corrected by the diet but it never actually corrects and will never correct as far as the bone deformities go. But this guy right here is one of our show animals we can teach and teach people about what happens during MBD or from the causes of MBD. So it's kind of a way to educate people on like the proper care and, right. you know, and the little iguana that you pick up at the pet store that's, you know, 20 bucks and, you know, six or eight inches long. He's going to turn into this guy <laughs> and he's going to actually probably get even a little bigger than him. Right. And there's a lot of care requirements that you need to learn about. Uh, you know, too many times we see people that, pick up an animal or buy something because it's cheap or they get it for free and then it ends up here because they don't take proper care of it. They don't realize that the small little tortoise they get is going to be as big as a baby pool one day or, you know, as much as, uh, you know, weighs more than they do and it's going to live maybe longer than they do or the baby alligator that somebody picks up is going to end up being, you know, behemoth like some of these guys that we've seen here. And that's where Chad comes in and helps to kind of rehabilitate these guys when people don't take care of them, but also you know, he gives them a place to kind of rehome them, like what we're doing with the tortoise that we're getting today. You know, Stan, another one of our biggest, biggest issues is where a lot of, like you had asked before, a lot of these animals come in by seizures. You know, people have them and they ain't supposed to have them, um, or they have them and have them properly, or even they went so far as to having so many of them, couldn't take care of them, right. and ended up having to have them taken. And what that does is it puts a lot of stress on guys like myself, because now we get an influx of animals. And, uh, and we try to do the best we can to make sure that they stay healthy, but you know, what can you do? Yeah, now Chad actually offers a class that teaches how to, not only teaches how to handle some of the animals, uh, like the venomous animals and whatnot, but he also teaches a class that helps to illustrate the laws that we have on, on some of these animals so that you can be educated. Uh, because sometimes, you know, a lot of us just don't know what we don't know about, you know, the specific requirements for certain animals that... If, and in that same course, uh, you know, one of the one of the great things that I think I love the most about it is it also helps to teach people medically exactly the early signs and symptoms of like respiratory infections, right. like MBD and mouth rot, scale rot, shell rot. There's many many things medically that we're going to teach. We do want people to have an understanding of what they're looking for. Right. You know, if you if you got a snake that's starting to get uh, respiratory infection. What is the signs of that so that you can get it taken care of properly and early before it gets bad and could spread to the rest of your collection? Now, how can people how can people find you? Like, what's your website and can people support what you're doing financially? Sure can. Sure can. There, uh, our website is CCSB Reptile Rescue. Uh, dot webs dot com. I know that's a long drawn out name. If you just Google search CCSB Reptile Rescue, we will be the first one to pop up. And there's going to be all kinds of things on our homepage. Uh, it actually tells about that training course that uh, that Stan was talking about. A um, little bit down there uh, on that same homepage also has a uh, donation button. Uh, any donations received is, is very much appreciated. It does go to help us be able to take care of these guys medically as well as financially. 
uh, while they're here in our care, uh, which care is the utmost importance to us, um, as you can tell, and with you know all these animals that you're going to see here and many, many more. I think we have about 175 plus reptiles right now, and keeping them clean, keeping them maintained. Uh, it's it's not all about the money. You know, there's other items and other things that people can do because money's personal, and we know that. Uh, so you know, if you don't want to just give money, you want to know that what you're doing is actually going to be given to something. And then you can just ask us what we need at the time, and we'll happily give you that to them as well. So and that's something that we can completely relate to, just with our collection. You know, it's always, it's a never-ending financial uh, black hole. <laughs> There's always something to buy. Heat lights are always burning out, or bedding always needs to be bought. But it is, a, you know, is a valid uh, thing to to contribute towards. And I'm going to put links in the description in this video. So just click the little info button, and it'll all come up, so we can help you know, help spread the ministry, help spread, you know, the information and also, you know, hopefully get some support coming in here for these wonderful animals like this guy. <laughs> He's trying to lick me in the face. <laughs> All right, so we just got back from CCSB Reptile Rescue and it was an amazing adventure. We couldn't stop talking and asking questions and had wonderful conversation. But the end result is this beautiful African spur thigh or sulcata tortoise that I got out of it. Now this guy is going to be a great addition to my ministry. He's going to be a great addition to my conservation programs in schools. He's going to be a great addition to my weightlifting program because he's such a chunky beast. So this week's episode of Catching Creation is coming to a close. We're going to put this guy in his temporary enclosure while we decide how we're going to build something this big for this guy. And until next time, this is Stan Lake with Catching Creation. Have a good adventure. Bah!